Cappuccino espresso machine. Hey everybody, it's Yappy Hour with Glory. You know what's crazy as I'm videoing her? The ribs are not accented. And her butt, it's the, unbelievable. The, the butt bones that bother you the most? Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting better. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, and there goes Roxy in the middle. Roxy? Roxy, come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl, Mama. You love, I love the fat belly, too. It's awesome, isn't it? Oh. Roxy went up right yesterday as soon as I got home. She went right up to Gloria's belly and was sniffing it because she could tell someone was holding her. And she was sniffing her belly and sniffing her butt and her ears. Oh, it was so sweet. Chicken ball. She so loves sweet. her sissy. Uh, so we're giving her a little, she already had her dry kibble, but um, <clears throat> now she's the opposite. Before she was going, uh, yeah, she was going poopies. <laughs> Uh, eight times a day. So now she went once today and it was the size of a horse poop inside the house on the carpet, which she's never done, right? Never. never. <clears throat> so we decided to give her a little bit of wet food because she's only pooped once today um, to see if it's pushing. It'll push it through. Was that good, Glory? That was my idea. Hopefully we'll get a nice big poopy soon. And um, I don't know if all of you followed us, but we did the live video of Glory at the uh, veterinarian appointment at the Animal Specialty Hospital with Dr. Cannon at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. And it was a long video, and you got to hear in detail what Dr. Cannon wants to do. Um, she was started on Clavamox antibiotic and another antibiotic. They want... She wants to make sure that everything in her gut is taken care of. Um, she's not concerned at all about the numbers. Uh, she said if there's something going on with her uh, pancreas, she can add some enzyme, uh, to, which is nothing to worry about. It's an easy fix, which is great. She's not concerned about her numbers at all. So we do have, um, she did a ultrasound when we were there, but couldn't really see anything because her belly was so full. So she wants her fasted um, Sunday evening. Today is Friday. Uh, Sunday, this Sunday evening, she will be fasted. Uh, her last meal will be around 6 p.m. and then she has an appointment in the morning, on uh, Monday morning, uh, with Dr. Cannon to go in and actually do the ultrasound. Uh, we did send out for the um, urine uh, to test for any kind of urinary tract infection. Um, How's the pee, pee doing? Is any accidents in the house or anything? No, not in the house. No, and, is it and less? It's, it's been less really? than it was. Okay, so it's less. Um, she, she does drink water. a lot of water still? Or not not like she was doing that day that you guys were here. She's like, drinking a, a fair amount of water. I mean, it's not. She Although it could have been she switched. She, you were mixing wet before and then she's on dry. Water. You want some water? Come yeah, on, Glory. Right. Yeah. Come on, Glory. You want no, some water? Come on. If Roxy comes, Glory comes. Come on, Glory. Come on, Glory. Come. So, Mommy. <laughs> Carol, she does exactly what you do. She brings the water to the babies. Carol does this every night we go to bed. Our four dogs in the bed, and she goes around to each dog to make sure that they are hydrated. And it's so funny because... They don't, some of them don't want to drink, and she will stand in front of the dog for a good 10 minutes, playing in the water, putting it on their lips. It's, yeah. She, half the time, I don't think she realized she wants it until you, she really needs it. So for me. That's how you feel, right, Carol? I know they need it. I know they want to do about it anyway. She's got to remind them. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to break stuff down. And we have grandma and grandpa here always, right on the sideline, rooting for their baby girl. They're the best. 
These people are just pure love. Pure love. And Tammy and Jean are here. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Jean. Jean's very busy talking to Carrie. Lots of talk. I will tell you guys. Glory's hoop. I will tell you when we get together, whether it's our entire rescue team, we never talk about our personal stuff. We don't. Do we ever? I don't even know what's going I couldn't tell you, honestly. Yeah. Really. It's always yeah, about dogs. the dogs. Mm. The dogs. Yeah. It's always about the dogs. Yeah. That's what's important. Like, absolutely. You your sex it. life and your, yeah. your bowel movements you don't, don't matter. Do they care? <laughs> we do this to get away from all that. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Why am I here? <laughs> No, although no, I, sorry. although there's no secrets either, so I will say, sorry, Stacy, sorry, Stacy. When I got here, I was looking for Stacy. She was nowhere to be found, and I said, "Where's Stacy, Carrie?" She thought Carrie? Said crappy hours, and that's. Oh. <laughs> she thought it was crappy hours. She said, "With all the bowel movement and the poopy talk." Stacy had to go in, and yep. I came in to get yep. uh, a drink, yep. and I, I bumped into Stacy, and I said, you know that "How is that duty?" Nothing is sacred. Nothing is sacred. No, we don't. Everybody's doing it. Very active. Problems As I said, there's no. There's. Oh, I'm jealous. Now everybody's talking about their personal. Bowel yeah, movement. Back to TMI. Back to glory. <laughs> TMI, TMI. What? Roxy, no more food. And she'll, she's See, so funny. No, like, Roxy, Roxy watching a movie. Mommy's telling them. Like, you stop it. Roxy, listen to mommy. Roxy, Look at this. You know what happens. Sorry. Look at them. I will tell you, glory follows Roxy everywhere. Look at this. When, when I called, watch this, watch this. Walking for chicken. Chicken balls? I don't know, but she's going to have one now. Come on. All right, you need a little extra help, right, from your friend? Okay, wait. That would be fun. Come on, guys. Come on, Glory. Come on, Roxy. Look what I have. Chicken ball. Look at Glory. Glory, it's okay. Roxy comes. Glory comes. Come on, Roxy. Come on, Glory. Look how she follows her sister. Here. Come on, Glory. Come on. My little Bambi dear. Come. Look at them over there. Good girl. Yes, and Glory sit. Glory sit. Glory sit. For you. Glory. Oh. Piece of cheese. Mmm. Glory. Yamas. Yay. Don't tell anybody. We got treats. Special treats. Special treats. Look at this. Can you stand? Can you believe this is the same girl? Can you believe this is the same Glory? It's all gone, Glory. You want to follow your sister now? It is quite amazing what love can do, isn't it? And I am wearing so proud my beautiful Glory bracelet that Jamie Valcourt made for me. And my other one with the paw prints on it. What? Oh, you want to lick my fingers? Roxy! She's following Roxy now. She knows I have no more food. Watch. Come on. Go ahead. I don't want to scare her. I don't want to scare you. Come on. Come on, Glory. Good girl. Come on, Glory. Thank you, Jamie. It, could this any, be any more perfect, honestly? Could you even... <laughs> Imagine a better perfect fit for Glory. We love, we love these girls. You are such a good baby. Yeah, we're gonna put her in the in the 
stroller tomorrow. We'll tie Roxy to it and let Roxy Did you hear that? <laughs> Carrie got a stroller for Glory. Carrie? Yeah. You know what yeah, we got it. We you didn't put it together. We're, we're going to try and take them for a walk tomorrow Rocks together in the front yard with a tandem. And if she doesn't do it, then we'll put the stroller together and then Do you think you should try, try the tandem in the backyard first? You know what? I told Stacy we, oh yeah. we tried to Hi, do mommy. the leash Hi, in the backyard. Hi, But like, she doesn't like it. Hi. But yesterday on the side of the house, she was fine. Okay. I think she knows why are you doing this here when I come around. See, if I don't have food. So put her in the, on the side yard, she did it. At the vet, she did it. Yeah. Yeah. I think if we're here, she like mimics everything. <laughs> everything. What color is the stroller? They want to know. Blue. So if it doesn't so work, then it's, it's blue. It's not pink. I'm not putting. It's too noticeable. So. <laughs> I would have had a pink stroller. Carol definitely would have gone for the blue. Yeah, I would not. I'm not gonna push it. But I'm pink digging stroller. this pink collar. Whose idea was that? Uh, well, we had to stick with the girl think we, pink theme, you know. We had, that's, yeah. what you, that's what you guys gave, gave us. Love it, and I love the little heart. Roxy's a girl too, but she's more like a. Girl. She's a tomboy. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a tomboy. She's more of a tomboy. Yes. You're like that's your mommy, Carrie. Yes. Carrie's a tomboy. That's right. Well, I don't think either of you wear dresses, though, right? No, we don't. No, neither. I don't either. <laughs> You're not a lesbian, and you don't wear a dress. <laughs> I know Carol will never wear a dress. No, I, I do have to tell a funny story about... My dad does, though. My dad will wear a dress. Grandpa? <laughs> oh, coming out of the closet, Grandpa. <laughs> Not in public, though. Just not in public. Yeah, there it is. Thanks. I do have to tell a funny story. When I was a flight attendant, I always oh. wore pants, and everybody's like, why do you wear pants? So there was another flight attendant that had flown with me, and he goes, I got this. <laughs> so when you're a flight attendant, you're working up front. When you're landing or taking off, there's two seats, one here, one here. So I was sitting in this seat. Sam was sitting in this seat. He goes, so I sit down, preparing for landing, you know, and everything else. And Stacy sits down. <laughs> that's how I sit. Yeah, and that's why Stacy can't wear a skirt on the jump seat. There you go. <laughs> he was like, I was all Stacey like, was look at, look at, look at Carol with the legs crossed. <laughs> and I would put her in a dress before anybody. I, I, I can't oh, never, never. I can see you do it. Never. I think Carrie did once. Yeah, no, prom, twice. Twice for twice prom. Twice for prom. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it was blue jeans, flat shirt. I did wear a dress. I wore flats. I did not wear heels because I cannot wear heels. Cowboy boots. Jeremy, I will wear a dress if I'm deered. Okay, Jeremy, let's talk. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> let's raise money on that dare. Let's well, you're, money. yeah, right? <clears throat> Jeremy, you need to talk to your wife. We've discussed it. We, we really we really did. I think that husky that we brought in tonight, Dakota, you really need to think about him because uh -oh. he's, he's beautiful and he's so... Jeremy adopted a husky for you. Right, Lola. Yeah. And he wants another dog. Right. But, he's got but, he has, but he has dogs and cats. I don't know if Apollo is going to be cat friendly. Yeah, yeah. I really don't is think that, so. Is that the husky's name, Apollo? No, Apollo's the American that we rescued from the uh, Liberty City, the guard dog. But the husky we took in tonight is, they said, dog and cat friendly. And he already has a husky. So, I know, Jeremy, just talk to your wife. Pull out the wine, schmooze her tonight, you know, work your magic. We're still temperament testing Apollo on Monday. Um, we have our trainer, Libby, coming with her dog. And we are going to test and see how he is with dogs and cats. So, we will definitely you know, keep everybody posted. Okay. <laughs> Apollo's doing amazing, Kathy. I, oh my God, I was going. She's gonna fall in. I forgot she swims. Um, Apollo's doing amazing. I did a, an hour video of him this morning, getting mauled on by him, kissing and making out session and massage bellies. It was awesome. He's awesome. <clears throat> but this is glory. Tell Tammy that uh, Lori went back and got photos of the husky so she can post them. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Lori Summers. Hi, honey. Look at that belly. How many puppies you got in there, Lori? <laughs> We're trying to get Glory to poop. Lots of poopy puppies. Yeah, she's probably got about six puppies in there. Yeah, <laughs> mommy? Or a small child, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a good girl, mommy. I can't believe how amazing she looks.
She has gained five pounds total since we've had her. We rescued her on April 16th. Um, we were at the animal hospital on Mon uh, What day was it we were there? Thursday, yesterday. Oh my God, I can't remember. God bless you. I can't remember what day it is, but yesterday we were with uh, God bless you. Um, yeah. Glory actually gained five pounds total. She would like to see you gain more. Um, yeah, more weight. I know. What do you want from me? I don't have any more. Roxy, that's enough chicken. Stop it. I see PM Smith just jumped on here. Hey PM. I love, love, love the videos you're sending me of Ladybug. They are hysterical. I could watch them all day. Um, PM adopted our dog Ladybug that we rescued from the kill shelter, if you remember, was screaming in the back of the car with no pain medication after a uh, pyometer spay. And when I tell you and watching her, she sends me all these updates. It is so awesome. I stay in touch with a lot of our adopters. A lot. And our team actually keeps track of every dog through our database, um, you know, how they're doing, checking in. You know, we're talking a lot of dogs, a lot of dogs and cats. So um, it's a lot of work, but it's so worth it. We love getting the updates. We have our alumni page also for any of you. Can't wait to see Glory on the alumni page. Yeah. Right? Can't wait. We have an alumni page where all of our adopters go there and they update our, on our dogs that they've adopted four years ago, five, six years ago, almost seven years ago. Um, it's wonderful because that's our happy place. But uh, it was a really busy day today for all of us at 100 plus. You saw we last minute took in three dogs in a very sad situation. It's been a busy um, week. Busy week. So busy. Yeah. So, so busy. It just doesn't seem to, to break. It just doesn't seem to stop. Mom and puppies are awesome. She's actually walking down the stairs now. We don't have to carry her. Yeah, Tiffany's been working good. with her, and my good. whole team's been in. Uh, puppies are nursing. They're doing great. I think she peed and pooped outside today for the first time. Godiva. Yeah, wow. Mommy Godiva. Um, King is doing great. King has a meet tomorrow. Benji has a meet tomorrow. Uh, we have Kevin, the new dog that we took in yesterday. Yeah. Kevin? <laughs> Kevin was a really sad situation because I saw this dog. He's like a fluffy, cute, highly adoptable dog. And I'm like, why is this dog still at Miami-Dade Kill Shelter? Apparently they locked him in the back where nobody could see him. And on his paperwork it said, uh, fear, aggressive, biter, humane euthanasia recommended. So I didn't know what we were getting when our girl Jessie went to pick him up. And... And within 10 minutes, and I did a video today. You were there. He, like a bunny. he, he is the thing. sweetest. Aww. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. He, he bounces like he has like, springs oh, under his oh, feet. Like so labeling yeah, kills. Yeah. Labeling kills. Because these dogs are terrified. Wow. You know, All you when, have to do is put yourself in their position. Yeah, I'd be That's scared if I was caught. Yeah. Well, you yeah. think about it. If, if animal control picked her up, yeah. right, versus us and they put her in a cage with barking, barking, stressful dogs around, you don't know how she's gonna react. Right. She could try to snap, because she tried to snap at Jessie when she picked her up. So if she did that, they would label her fearful, aggressive, and yeah. then that would be a death sentence. For her. And that's the sad part. That's I know. So I'm so glad we took the chance, because right now he would be in a body bag in the landfill if we didn't yeah. rescue. He was last call. Two years of age. If you put Roxy in a kennel, she's never even been. If you put her in one, she would be, she'd have a freak Oh my God. Our dogs, too. Our dogs yeah. would be freaked. You could never, Mommy. Even yeah. she was, when they had her and they first brought her in, she was in the cage, remember? Mm -hmm. At ICU, and I was losing my mind. I'm like, why? And then we moved her the next day over to that run, and we were sitting in there with her. And and then that's when you reached out, Carrie. Yeah. And I was like, you know, everybody's like, you're going to let her go already? I said, the doctor yeah. said there's nothing more that we can do. Why would we keep her here yeah. when we have a beautiful be home yeah. with a dog that that can teach her yeah. and a family that can love her, why would I keep her locked in a, in a hospital when they close at, what, today's Friday, so today, today's our late night? Eight, but then I'll open till eight. Eight o'clock at night till eight in the morning? Okay, Saturdays and Sundays, they close at five? And if you think they're all taken out at one minute to five, more like four, um, unless our volunteers are there, and they don't come back till seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So that's why we stress out so much about getting these babies into fosters and loving homes.
Susie. Right, Susie? I know. This is like decompression. I was supposed to be here at 6. <clears throat> Zoe was supposed to be joining us tonight. And actually, Zoe, while we were at the animal hospital... Um, yeah, we were at the animal hospital, and we got, I got the call about the three dogs. We just took in three dogs tonight. The uh, owner took ill. She went in the hospital. Um, she is not coming out. She has a lot of issues um, with drugs, and um, she's, in, she's just not coming out. And she lived in a trailer. It was completely, when I, I showed the video, it was a hoarding, say, hoarding situation. Um, the gentleman that reached out to me, Kent, said that there was nothing but feces, urine everywhere. There was no food or water, so he went and gave them food and water. <laughs> Um, so we took those three dogs in tonight, and the video is up on our page. But I was supposed to be here at 6, and of course, that comes first. And they understood completely, so we got here a little bit later. Um, but we're here just spending time with Lori and Grandma and Grandpa Carol's with us, and of course, Roxy and Carrie and Stacy Mommies, and then Jan and Tammy are here. So we just love being able to update all of you. You know, when we can, and again, remember, um, for any of you that are unaware or just don't know, Glory has her own Facebook page, and her mommy goes live once or twice a day. <clears throat> it's called Glory's Story, No Guts, No Glory. It's all one word, so you can jump on over there. If you're ever wondering how Glory is doing, um, you know, we do our updates when we can, but daily you can get your glory updates by going to her page directly and uh, they are amazing their videos are not boring their videos are great i actually look forward to carrie and stacy's videos we try and jazz it up a little bit yeah and and they're naturals guys they're naturals i'm glad you said it because i was you know me you know me i i I have to say, my entire crew, entire crew, they don't want to do videos. The majority, yeah. Tiffany does, but she's, you know, a lot yeah. of practice. You don't, Carol? No. No, I hate them. Carol hates them, too. Oh, gosh, that one time she wanted her to do it at LVS, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. I, I said, I was doing one of our... Live. Live, we had a fight. Because she wouldn't talk, and I'm like, babe, you have the phone, you're holding it, you need to talk. Then there's this one oh when we first started. She's like, I can't, I don't know, I can't do this. I did it like the first day. I did it like and a then robot. She was like, Give me that. Uh huh. <laughs> I was like a robot. She's like, Babe, you're not a robot. I told you just yeah, yeah. talk, remember? <laughs> I was like, Oh, okay, I got it. <clears throat> we're, we're good at, at talking, so I think it's easy for us. Glory is not pregnant, she Stephanie. Looks pregnant. She looks pregnant. It's because she needs to poop. Needs to poop. Yeah. Two and a half cups of food that she hasn't pooped yet. So we're, we're like waiting here for the poop to come. We've got a food baby going on. And she just had a little bit of wet food to hopefully push it out because she definitely needs to, to poop. Oh, I know, Pauline. Pauline, I spend more time watching 100 plus videos. My house is not getting cleaned. Trust me, Pauline. There are so many things that I need to be doing for my own personal home and dogs. And let me tell you, it is not easy because these videos, to keep all of you updated, um, and you know, posted on everything that's going on. This is one dog. This is Glory. Now you know how many dogs and how many things we have going on at 100 plus. So. As you see from this morning, it's so awesome. Give Grandpa a kiss. Oh, and now Roxy's jumping in. Look at this. Go ahead, Glory. Go on. So instead of you guys being out on a Friday night, out for dinner, having drinks with friends, you're sitting here and you're at home watching. Is it getting too dark? No, no, it's fine. Sitting here watching us, 100 plus. You're, you're so dedicated. And we we love you and appreciate you for that. Um, is there an address that we can send gifts to Glory and Roxy? So you can send them directly to our UPS box, um, and I can definitely put that address up. It's on mailing address, and then whatever you send, um, we can absolutely see Carrie and Stacy, as you can see very often. We don't like to give out people's personal addresses, um, which I'm sure you can understand and respect. Um, we never do that. Even when we do bring you along for home checks, 
um, you know, showing our dogs in their forever homes. We never give out personal addresses. We just think it, professionally it's, it's the, the right thing to do. Um, but absolutely our mailing address is on our website and I can put it up at the end of this video. Um, thank you, Jane Fisher. Thank you for understanding. <clears throat> this is better than TV. Listen, I have read so many comments on our videos and I, I literally am hysterical reading them after I... Forget it. They're like, oh my God, I've got the earpiece on. I'm in the bathroom, in the shower stall, so I don't get in trouble at work because I had to Somebody get it. Somebody was in the UK yesterday. UK. It was midnight. She was waiting. It was waiting. midnight. No, I think, I think that was France. Was it France? The lady in, in uh, England. It was England. England. Yeah. She said it's midnight here, and I was staying up waiting to see Glory's live video. And I'm like, are you? Is something wrong with you? We have amazing supporters from Singapore, from UK. It is amazing. It's the dogs. We, have the most dogs. we have the best dogs, and we do. We do. I think. Yeah, if you look at like the people that follow us, yeah, don't give her any more cheese. All, all over the world. Listen, this started seven years ago. This did not happen overnight. This is a lot of work to build up. We have our Facebook page is gold. We have saved so many lives because of this oh, Facebook page. I cannot even begin to tell you. And what does it say? It is 1.10 a.m. in the U.K. My, all, my eyeballs are running down my cheeks. Colette Wells. Oh, my God. You are crazy, girl. Yep, U.K. So while we're sitting here, you know I love, I love the feedback. I love to know where everybody's from. So just for a second, just type where you are. Just put it in there. Where are you from? Michigan. <laughs> this is Amy, Boston, Massachusetts. Beckley, West Virginia. Tammy's Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. Oh, wow. Jan. They are in West Virginia. New Jersey. New Jersey. South Florida. Oh. <laughs> Boring. Yeah. Michigan. I know Grandpa. Fort Lauderdale. That's so unusual. You're a native to Yep. Really? Two natives. Wow. They're a rare breed. Okay, so we've got Toronto, Winter Haven, <clears throat> Land O'Lakes, around the corner in Tamarack, LOL, Illinois, Michigan. Nice. New Jersey. Oh, I was an infant. My, my parents went down. Like Fort Lauderdale, family. currently <laughs> Albert's bitch. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Ontario. Yeah, we were here. Yeah, Tiffany's a native. Too. Oh, my God. I live 20 miles from Beckley, West Virginia. See? Wow. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Florida, Michigan, San Diego, hey, West hey. Palm Beach, it's Ocala, I mean, but Chicago. Go Cubs, they won today. Ohio, Kansas, Victoria, Minnesota, Mississippi, <clears throat> Wisconsin, Sebring, Florida. I live in Pensacola. She looks like she's going to have a baby. You got to poop, Wisconsin again. Glory, I'm going to sit on your bed. Oh, glory. Does it hold you? Yeah. Pounds. Does it hold me? What do I weigh? 300 pounds? I didn't know what to compare. 250. I don't weigh 250. You know they're away. California, Colorado. This is so awesome. We'll work on getting lights on the TV. Grandpa's getting kisses. Kentucky, Idaho, Texas. Oh, mama. She, she loves her grampy and her grammy. She's really looking amazing, yeah, she doesn't really does. she? She does. You spend a lot of time with her daily? Yes. Pretty much every day, Grandpa? Uh, what would you say? As often as possible. As often as possible. Just about between myself and Gail. One of us will be here. So awesome. She's got that little heart. It's 12, it's 2.15 in Spain right now. Holy wow. cow. 2.15. PM? Oh, PM, PM. Oh, PM. Oh. Las Vegas. Look at the little heart on the back of her head. I know. Texas. Can you see the little heart? Wyoming. 
I know, we love her too. Baby, put, the, put, put the little heart on the back of her neck. Show them her heart on. Oh, look at her little heart. <laughs> She's, got She's, got her little She's got a little heart coming. Did you all see the video of Glory when she got so excited to see Grant? Was it Grandma and Grandpa, right? Yeah. And she was talking and barking and howling. Oh, no. She was singing. Oh, I think it was you. You yeah, came we home. Did, we did the, where she was barking. Yeah, when Carrie know. came in the back door. It was Carrie. You were barking for Mama? Can you do it again? Home, and I wanted her to bark for her, but she didn't make time for the thing. She has that spot like you. Hi, Glory. Hi, oh, Mama. So <laughs> I've heard that. Hi, Roxy. Oh, Roxy, I'm on your bed. You want me to get up? I'll get up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at. Oh, she wanted you out of her bed. She came up to me and told me she wanted me out. Look at that. She pushed me out of her bed. Roxy, I. It's your world, baby girl. Oh, um, Roxy. Look at this. Is this the best? All right, guys. We just wanted to invite you along for our. Yeah, you tell him, Rox. You tell him. Do I think Lori knows she's safe? One million percent. Oh, watch this. Ready? You can bark. <laughs> oh, I just got a kiss. <laughs> oh, it's on, it's on your wireless. Yeah. Oh, Hi. Am I getting a kiss? Both dogs are looking at the speaker. Oh. <laughs> What's that, Glory? <laughs> it's a bell. Get her, Rox. I could watch this forever. So funny. <laughs> That's glory. <laughs> okay. Are you Yay! Are you trying to bite me? <laughs> <laughs> I went up to her. She started showing her teeth. <laughs> she hasn't done it since. No, one time, one time only. She did it one time when I was feeding her at night and she saw her own reflection and she started oh, growling Mama, and then she so was funny. like, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love that she has a voice. Well, even the other night when we were here and she like would do the lip curl. Yeah. 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 So that was our one and only Glory barking, talking video. Um, so again, if you want to follow Glory daily, guys, just go Glory story. Yappy hour. Glory's. She did? Oh, oh that's so that. cool. Like that's so cool. Oh, yeah, so you don't, they don't cut it off. Yeah. Uh, Glory's story, no, glut, no guts, no glory. And that's all one word. Check it out on Facebook. Thanks for joining us for our yappy hour. We're going to sign off and go just chill and decompress. We have a busy day again tomorrow. And um, everybody have a great Friday night. Yeah. This is Amy, 100 plus, abandoned dogs in Everglades, Florida, with our update of our beautiful, beautiful glory.